This is Social Confidential, where Adweek social media editors take a look behind the logo and find out who's tweeting behind major brands. I'm Julian Gamboa, and I'm here with Adrian Molina, a two-time Adweek March Adness champion and senior brand manager for Aviation Gin. So let's get right into the questions. How did you get this job? The portfolio company that I work for, Davos Brands, which owns Aviation Gin, I started as a social media coordinator for their sake brand. So from there, just hustled through the company, taught myself more digital, PR, ins and outs. So let's talk about your Twitter strategy. I think Aviation Gin is pretty unique. It's a lot of listening because Ryan just inspires a lot of people as well and they want to get in the conversation and I feel his sense of humor kind of brings out a lot of sense of humor from that. So the Twitter strategy for aviation as a handle is to continue that as the brand and just keep that same tone and levity that um, you know we, we've kind of had a lot of success with now. What is your philosophy, especially with user-generated content and real-time interaction? So all the Art Basel stuff about this banana being taped to a wall came out and I was drinking in celebration and just taped a bottle to literally that wall over there and took a picture and I was like, go. And that did very well. And we love playing and Ryan has the same mantra of just playing within the pop culture zeitgeist. You see pop culture happening and it goes so fast. What's relevant yesterday is not relevant, you know, this morning. So it does provide the challenge, a very fun challenge of just staying on your toes, staying relevant and knowing how to react, how to adapt the brand to these pop culture moments in real time. Could you tell us more about the social response when the Peloton ad dropped? This gin is really smooth. Yeah. Oh man, that was a, a day. It, it was very nerve wracking. We, we knew it was a little bit of a gamble, but that's kind of what made it fun. I kind of trusted it was gonna do well, but not as well as it happened. So when Ryan let it loose, I just feel like my tweet deck, everything just exploded in front of me. I didn't go to sleep that night <laughs> because I was just like, oh my God, people like it, people get it. Then the craziest thing was the next morning, turning on the news and seeing them play the full ad on CNN. I was just like, this is insane. They just played a woman drinking aviation in its entirety. Do you have any advice for social media managers? Just to have fun with it. I mean, if you're not in crisis comms, if you're a brand or if you're a service, you know, listen to the people, but also let them know you're there. Because you're not only are you, as a social media manager, entertaining, but you're also the eyes and ears for the brand, uh, customer service <laughs> at the same time. Take a deep breath, you'll have bad days, you'll get kicked in your ass. The world's your focus group at that point. So you also want to serve them and make them loyalists of your brand. Well, thank you so much, Adrian. Thank you for joining us. Julian, always a pleasure. I'm Julian Gamboa. See you next time on Adweek Social Confidential.